Hi, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to disable the Jetpack comment form and hide the feedback tab in your WordPress admin interface. And so this is one of those things, if you're using Jetpack with WordPress, then you will notice that you can either enable it and many of its features, or you can disable it altogether. But it's not that easy anymore to selectively disable certain portions of Jetpack. And uh, one of those things is, in fact, the feedback tab. So this is my website here and I've got um, a Jetpack activated here. And uh, one of the things that I've got in my sidebar, among many, many other things, I could really do with a tidy up there, uh, is the feedback tab. So we talked about in my previous video, I talked about my plugin Zendash, which can do away with some of those options in the sidebar so you can selectively disable them. If you're interested in how that works, then please watch that video. It's a nice little plugin. It doesn't really change your WordPress installation. It just hides things selectively. And one of the things it can't hide is the feedback tab. And in fact, Jetpack doesn't have an easy way to hide that either, yet it is built in. And that's what this whole video is about. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. So this comment form thing is one of those things, if you have another comment form solution like Gravity Forms, then you don't need this on top of that. And it's just confusing and it's just clutter in the admin interface that we don't need to see. Well, there is a way to disable this and let me show you how. It is in fact in Jetpack. So if you head over there and go into the settings, you will probably have looked at all this many times and you've thought, why isn't there a tiny little slider that just goes and does boom and does away with it, but there isn't. So we have to jump through some hoops and uh, no matter which tab you're looking at, it ain't hiding in there. So let's scroll to the very bottom of the screen at which there's a tiny option hiding, which is called debug. And when you click that, then you get to another screen that is kind of a really long convoluted just thing of um, descriptions and, and stuff and support options. And that's all nice. And if you look at that, you think, oh, my goodness, that doesn't really help me out here. And there's no coding required here. Don't you worry about it. Um, it's, it's also not hiding in anywhere in this mega long page here. It is, in fact, uh, the second option from the bottom where it says more details about your Jetpack settings. So there's this thing called access the full list of Jetpack modules available on your site. And if you click that, and I don't know why they've hidden it that much away, you get to access every single module that is active or inactive in Jetpack. And that's kind of cool because at, towards the top, you don't see something like feedback, but you do see something like comment form. And that module can now be selectively deactivated. And if you do that, then, you know, WordPress thinks about it for a second and boom, feedback tab gone. You can also activate it again. If you change your mind, you can activate it again. Feedback tab comes back doing that. Notice that disabling the actual module, there we go, feedback tabs back. Notice that disabling the actual module also takes away the ability for Jetpack to process contact forms. So as soon as you do that, you can't use Jetpack for comment forms anymore. No, not, not for comment forms, I'm so sorry, for, for um, comments on your website, like underneath posts and pages selectively are not impacted by this. So this is just if you want to add a contact form into a page where people can leave you a message and fill it out like, hey, I have a question about your website or whatever. So it doesn't impact comments. And this is comments here. Contact form is the one you want to deactivate. And if you do that, then uh, feedback goes away. The whole contact form thing goes away. And uh, yeah, you need, if you still want to use that type of functionality, you need to have another solution in place, such as gravity forms. That's it for today. I thought I'm going to share this quick tip with you. I hope this is helpful. If you like this video, then of course, please share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.